All right, welcome to Talking Investing. I am Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. Today, I want to do our daily Bitcoin and Bitcoin miner update. Today is Monday, May 30th. So we talk about Bitcoin, Bitcoin miners basically every day on the channel. If that's content you're interested in, please do us a favor and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Also, please smash the like button for us. It helps us out a lot. And you'll notice in the pinned comment, there's a link to our Discord. It's free. We'd love to have you join us. We mostly talk about Bitcoin and the Bitcoin miners, uh, but we also talk about all things stock. So we'd love to have you. Okay, so today, is Monday and it is a holiday in the US but of course it's never a holiday for Bitcoin and Bitcoin is having a nice rally so congratulations to everyone else in the world who's getting to participate in that on the equity side of thing and of course we can all still participate that on the crypto side of things because crypto never sleeps so I do want to go through what's happening with Bitcoin there is some good news so I want to tell it like it is because we haven't had a lot of good news in a long time so I'm gonna enjoy it while it lasts and we'll make of it what it is so let's let's take a look we're gonna dive into the Bitcoin charts and see what's going on. And then I'm going to dive into a few of the Bitcoin miner charts. Now, the, the equity trading is closed in the U.S. today, but several of these miners also trade in Canada. So I'm going to look at their price action on the Toronto exchange, and we'll talk about what's happening there, because obviously had the markets been open in the U.S., they would likely mirror what's going on there. So it's all good news for once. So I'm really not going to skip the day today. So let's get into it and look at the big board, which today is a little board because I'm just looking at the four stocks that I know trade on the Canadian exchange and they are active today. So you will see a mega green board. So you're not seeing the usual suspects because the NASDAQ is closed today. So there's no point in looking at all those. Nothing's happening. However, Hut, BitFarms, Hive, and Digihost are all trading actively today and they are up big time. Hut's up 10.5%. BitFarms is up almost 11%. Hive is up 18%. Giant pop on Hive. And Digihost is up 11.5%. So everything very much in the green. And I also want to talk about some trends that are happening. There's, there's a potential breakout in the making. So we're always hesitant to call that right Right now because we have had you know nine straight weeks of downward momentum but it does look like there's a significant breakout and if it can hold maybe we get a little rally here we are at one of our rally points that we've been talking about for a long time on the channel so if we can break through that point I'm going to go through those and show you the next one and and see if we can't do a little positive damage here on Bitcoin so so that's the big board which today is the little board let's look at Bitcoin on the 15 minute time frame okay so you'll see yesterday there was a massive massive spike up. This aqua blue line right here is where we closed, not this past Friday, but a week ago from Friday. So we have been holding pretty much between that range and this orange line right here, which was where we closed on Friday. That's where the equity markets closed on Friday. This is where Bitcoin was. It was at 28,994. So just a little under 29,000, but right basically exactly in its range. 28.8 had been our floor. It popped down to 28.6 several times. And we went to some points nearby, but basically we got into a very narrow trading range and we're going to look at that but today or last night I should say we broke out of that range in a substantial way and ran right up to our first point of resistance so we're getting our first test so if we can pass this test I want to talk about that and see where we go from here late last night we crossed the $30,000 mark since then we have been above it ever since and it's only been about 15 hours so you know it's too soon really to start making giant broad statements but I will push a little hopium today because this is definitely a change in the trend and it is definitely noteworthy and worth looking at. Let's zoom out a little bit and, and you'll see better what I'm talking about. Okay, this is Bitcoin on the four hour time frame. So you can see last week, in the last video, we talked about the fact that there was downward pressure. Really, this was the 25th, the 26th, and the 27th. That was Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You can see there was a lot of downward pressure, but in particular, what happened on Thursday and Friday, Bitcoin had some downward pressure, but the Bitcoin miners had a very nice two day rally. So, so that was maybe a little foreshadowing that some Something was changing and you can see over the next 48 hours we hung very closely in this range and then all of a sudden when we broke out we broke out strong straight up to this line that we had been talking about we have a green line at 30,756 these are four hour candles this is the fourth one in a row that has either touched or crossed that line so it is meeting some resistance there but 
it did race rate up to that. So we'll see how we can do there. The next line past that is 31,293. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit and show you how far back that goes. Okay, this goes back to May 15th. So that was 15 days ago. You'll see we peaked here on May 15th at around 31,300, let's call it. We have not been back there since. And in fact, we have not crossed this line at 30,700-ish since then either. So we've been actually drifting lower and lower. We've been having lower highs all the way along down through to Friday. So you can see this is a nice breakout. We're back up to this line of resistance where you can see we've met this once, twice, three times over the last two weeks. But over the last one week, we had not gotten anywhere near this line at all. So it's very encouraging to get up here. We would really like to see this line get broken and turn from resistance into support. Obviously, these lines are fairly close, so it would be really nice to jump both of these lines. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit more and then show you the formation that we really, we just had a big breakout, and it's gonna be obvious on the one-day time frame. Okay, this is Bitcoin on the one-day time frame. So you're gonna see, here we go, this is, this descending triangle dates back to basically May 9th, so, you know, that's three weeks ago. So for the last three weeks, you can see we have been stuck in a descending triangle, and, and really, a lot of people would draw this as a bear flag. So Bitcoin tends not necessarily to always do what it's supposed to as it pertains to a lot of these patterns. So typically it would be much more likely that we were going to break to the downside on a bear flag. But in Bitcoin, I will tell you in my experience, it's been hit or miss. But in any regard, you can see that this is today's candle. We started at the top of this line and the entire day has been a breakout. So that is a giant move in the right direction. It's the first positive move we've had in a month. And really, remember, we're nine weeks into Bitcoin having downward pressure. We did flash crash to a local bottom at around $25,000. So I've been talking about the fact that on the daily time frame, this line at 28.8 has held straight through. You can see we've landed on it a couple of days in a row, and it really turned into more like 28,600, so $200 difference. But this line has held very strong. You can see we flash crashed all the way down to 25. So we we spent most of the last 10 videos talking about where are we headed to the downside. You know what are our next potential lines of support on the downside. Well, today I'm going to talk about the upside because you guys all know our downside support. This is a very strong green candle. The day is not over, so we'll see where it ends. The Bitcoin miners are now having their third day of very positive reaction. So they jumped out ahead of Bitcoin. As Bitcoin was consolidating and going sideways, it looks like the miners had already bottomed and started moving up. They were on a two-day rally, and now uh, in the rest of the world, they're on a three-day rally. Here in the U.S., we're enjoying a day off. So you can see on this one-day time frame, I've got a, the larger line that we're shooting for, and this is just under $33,000. We broke under $33,000 on May 9th, so that was exactly three weeks ago, and we have not been anywhere near it since. Again, we've been in this descending channel, just getting further and further away from this. So I don't have these smaller lines of resistance on the one-day time frame but you can see if they're you know they're right about here if we could break through these this is actually the line of resistance that I'm looking for over the medium term and and really the short term I'm talking about the next one to two weeks we've had a lot of bullish signals but no bullish action with Bitcoin so today could be the day I want to quickly look at the RSI we've been talking about this every day you know we had a month of sideways RSI and then it tanked at the beginning of May we had a double bottom here and it's been on the way up, but hanging in the 30s. Well, today we have a giant jump up to almost 47. So you'll see that almost matches our high for the last two months. So one more notch to the upside, and we may have a little bit of a run here in Bitcoin. Good things happen at 50 or above on the RSI on the daily time frame. So we're at 47 right now, just under 47. So we are maybe one day away from getting over 50, and that would really be the first very strong signal that maybe we have some upside ahead. And again, I'm not calling a bottom, and I know it's possible we will retest lower numbers, but I will say they're just, for me, I believe there seems to be a little bit of a different feeling about what's going on over the last three or four days, and, and this is a nice bounce. So I'm gonna, number one, I'm gonna enjoy it while it lasts because we haven't had a good day in a while, uh, and number two, we'll wait over the next few days and see if 
this was a sign of things to come. So just a quick look at the MACD, you'll see like 11 or 12 days ago, we had a bullish crossover on the MACD. We've had on the histogram all green since then. A few days ago, we kind of had a little bit of a worry. It looked like we went from dark green to light green, and it looked like maybe this was the bull run that was not going to happen. But since then, we're now printing green candles again, and we're getting some separation on our MACD lines. So that's all positive news. So just going to take a 20 second look at the one week time frame just to reiterate this is these nine candles in a row that's two months of bitcoin downward pressure and you'll see there was hardly any upward momentum even inside of a week it was pretty much just down 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 so we're starting a new week we got a little bit of a green candle going we are a long way from putting in a green candle on the weekly time frame but this is a nice start and nine weeks was a long streak but it's got to end sometime so hoping it's this week let's take a look at a few of the bitcoin miners this is on the TSX. So these are in Canadian dollars, but you'll see the trend is the same. This was the Thursday, Friday, two day rally that I was talking about. As Bitcoin was kind of going sideways with some downward pressure, the stock market was going up, the NASDAQ was going up, and the Bitcoin miner stocks were following along with it. So most of these stocks bottomed out or double bottomed. The original bottom was on May 12th. Here with Bitfarms, it actually took out that bottom, but now Bitfarms is up 11% on the day today. So after two strong days in a row, this is an even stronger third day. So we'll hope that holds. The day is not over yet. Over the last three days, Bitfarms is now up 25% over its bottom and it bottomed out in Canadian dollars here at somewhere around $2.06 and it's now at $2.58. So again, tomorrow I will switch back to the NASDAQ charts and the US dollars, but there is no trading on those today. So, so you know, this is our best information right here. And the two obviously mirror each other. So just to look at a real short-term price target, if we just get back to where we were at the beginning of May, it's now the end of May. Obviously, April was a bad month. May was a worse month. So if we could reverse that momentum and maybe Bitcoin get back up to that 33,000 range, there's a 59% potential upside here just to get back to where Bitfarms was on May 4th. So again, that is less than one month ago. So that is some nice upside. Obviously, we're, if things go the other way, obviously there's 20% to the downside if we were to retest our lows. But again, for me, that is a good risk reward when I look at the upside and the downside in the short term. However, please remember, this is not financial advice. You guys have to do your own due diligence. I say this all the time, but these Bitcoin mining companies and Bitcoin itself are extremely, extremely volatile. So please know your stocks, trade with caution and trade with conviction and do your own due diligence and, and understand timeframes and make sure you have the stomach for these swings. Because, you know, just to put it in perspective, Bitfarms just had a 50% move to the downside over about a three and a half week period in the month of May. So when I say these are volatile, like this is very volatile activity. So I'll just end up on the four hour time frame here and you'll see this four hour candle did touch our green line at 30,700. We're at 30,694 right now. So we are hanging on the brink. You know, over the next 24 hours, we're gonna see if we can break through this line of resistance. And if so, this one is just a stone's throw away. These two lines are only 1.7% away. So, you know, if we have the right bull run, we could take them both out in one shot, maybe turn these into some support. We'll see what happens, too soon to tell, but at least let's everybody, hopefully you can enjoy the fact we've got a positive day here and we'll see what happens for tomorrow. So if you made it this far, please remember to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.